All right, you you brought up the prisoner swap, so so let's go there. When President Biden spoke about the prisoner exchange at the White House yesterday, uh, he described it in terms of a diplomatic triumph. Let's listen. This deal would not have been made possible without our allies. Germany, Poland, Slovenia, Norway, and Turkey, they all stepped up, and they stood with us. They stood with us, and they made bold and brave decisions, released prisoners being held in their countries who are justifiably being held and provide logistical support to get the Americans home. So for anyone who questions whether allies matter, they do. Uh, how big a diplomatic success was, was um, this prisoner exchange for the Biden administration, Jennifer? I think it was huge. Um, first of all, just the sheer scope of it, the complexity of it, that other countries were, in essence, sending back people to Russia, um, that we were negotiating on behalf of Russian dissidents who were not American citizens, were not American green card holders. Um, just the sheer complexity, the detail of it is really a magnificent display of what skilled, competent people in government can do. And you have to have a heart of stone not to have seen those images last night and be just overwhelmed um, with emotion and pride for America, seeing those families um, reunited with their loved ones, seeing the president give his American pin to Paul Whelan. Um, these are really tremendously um, heartwarming um, episodes for America. And to the president's point, you cannot get allies to do these sorts of things that are not in their self-interest if you run around bad-mouthing them and beating them up. Um, the reason we have a strong NATO alliance and we have expanded NATO and we have gotten uh, the countries, many more countries now, to meet their 2% uh, NATO contribution and to go in on sanctions is because of diplomacy. And you can um, deride allies all you like, but we need them and we benefit from them. And I think that was his central uh, part. And although I don't think Kamala Harris can claim credit for this, I think this represents her philosophy of foreign policy. And she said so last night on the tarmac. Um, and as Missy was saying, um, that is her general orientation. So if you're in favor of strong alliances, you're in favor of democracy, you're in favor of um, standing shoulder to shoulder with Russian dissidents like we did during the Cold War, um, then she is probably the candidate you'd prefer.